Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today the program I have chosen is Simple Interest. So this program is your sixth lab program under C++. So I know you guys know what a Simple Interest is. You have studied in your primary classes. So let me once tell you what a Simple Interest is. Simple Interest is a quick method of calculating the interest charge on a particular loan. The formula does not change. Simple interest is equal to principal amount into time into rate divided by 100. And remember, you are going to give a braces here. So, this is the calculation part. So, now, program plan. I will just tell you how to write a program. What are the things that has to be declared? So, firstly, you are going to create a class with data members, principal, time and rate. Next, you are going to accept the value for this particular principal amount, time and rate. So, create a member function to accept data values. So, the next part is calculation part. So, you are going to write a calculation part function. Lastly, you are going to display whatever you have calculated. This is the program plan. So now, let us see the program. So, write a C++ program to create a class with data members, principal, time and rate. Create a member function to accept the data values, to compute the simple interest and to display the result. This is the question. I hope everyone understood what is the question is. Yes. Now, the first part is your header file. Ash include iostream.h. As I have told you before, iostream.h is used whenever you write C out and C in statement in your program, you have to declare this particular header file. The next one is conio.h. This conio.h is used for your CLR, SCR and GetCH. So, whenever you, you use GetCH as well as CLR, SCR, that is clear screen, you have to declare this particular header file. Next comes the class. So, I have told you how to declare a class. Class space, class name. Within the flower braces, you are going to write your data members and the member functions. And it will end up with a closing flower braces and a semicolon. So, here we are going to create a class with class name simple interest. Class is a keyword and simple interest is the class name. Inside the flower braces, firstly, has said in the question, you are going to declare the member function, mem data members. So, under private section, you are going to declare principal, rate, time and simple interest. These are the data members. You have declared it under the data type float. Why? Because simple interest, you know it is all about the point values. Rate, you are going to give it in point value. 6.5, 9.5, 10.2. Whatever you multiply with the point value, the result will be point value itself. That is your float. Float is a data type where it stores the point value. So, the result might be anything according to the float value. Then, one more thing is, when you are calculating the simple interest, it might be for the highest number of principal amount. It might be for lakhs. It might be for crores. All these value must be stored. So, integer is only 2 bytes. So, when you take up float, it is up to 4 bytes. So, you can store the larger value as well as point value. So, that is why you have given float. So, next is your read data, compute and display. So, here you are going to read the data for principal, rate and time. You are going to compute it using simple interest is equal to principal amount into time into rate divided by 100. And in the display function, you are going to display the simple interest value after calculation. 
so within the flower braces you are ending the class with the semicolon so points to remember here class name is simple interest si is simple interest compute is nothing but your calculation next you are going to read the data once i'll tell you the first line whenever you declare member function outside the class you are going to give void space class name scope resolution operator and the function name within the flower braces you are going to write the statements so here void space simple interest is your class name scope resolution operator read data so you are going to read the values so see out statement enter the principal rate and time using cn you are going to insert the value from the keyboard for the principal rate and time you are going to give this three values closing braces end of the read data function next is computing as you all know it is very simple so you are going to write a function outside the class so void space class name is simple interest scope resolution operator compute is your function name inside the flower braces you are going to place the formula simple interest is equal to within the round braces you have mentioned principal into time into rate divided by 100 whatever the value you give that will be calculated and stored in si this is end of simple interest computing part so now you need to display the values so displaying this is the code void space class name scope resolution operator display function o within the opening braces you have written four c out statement where you are going to print principal time rate as well as simple interest so c out within the double quotes whatever it's there inside the double quote same character will be printed in the output screen so here you are going to print the values this principle gives the value next is c out statement time is equal to it prints the same thing whatever inside the double quote this time will print the value that is given by the keyboard by the user c out rate is equal to the rate it will be printed and end else are it comes to the next line end else is next line lastly c out simple interest is equal to si remember in the compute computation function you have given si is equal to so in si you have stored the final result that will be printed here end of this function next it is your main function inside the main function you are going to create an object then you are going to use this object and call all the three functions let us see void main within the flower braces firstly you are going to create an object so how to create an object class name space object name and a semicolon at the end so class name is simple interest space si is your object you can give anything here you can give only si if you get confused with simple interest and the object name si you can give only s or you can give only i you can give simple anything you can give here i have used si so next is your clear screen this will clear your output screen next you are going to call the function si that is your object object name si dot read data next si dot compute data you are going to call each and every function when you call this particular si dot read data it goes to the function read data it is going to take all the values required from the user it will store it in one place again it goes to the next line si dot compute so again it calls the compute part it calculates using particular formula whatever you have written inside the function it will store the value then si dot display data is called when this display dot uh, sorry si dot display function is called the value that is stored 
will be displayed using this particular function lastly get ch it stores in the output it stays in the output screen and it will show you the result and end of the main function this is how simple interest program runs i'll just show you the output now let us see the output so i have taken two conditions one it's in the lakhs and one principal amount of 10000 so initially do you remember in the read read data function enter the principal time and rate so here 120000 is given by the user rate is 12.75 time is 6.5 years so principal amount is 12000 uh, 120000 time is 6.5 rate is 12.7 simple interest is 99450 so this is how it is calculated let me show you one more example so enter the principal rate and time 10000 i have entered 12 rate and 2 is the year that is time principal amount remember in the display function you have given four c out statements so principal is equal to 10000 time is equal to 2 remember c out within the double quotes you have given principal is equal to again a principal the second principal will display the contents whatever it is stored time is equal to 2 content rate is equal to content simple interest is equal to si i have given there si what is there in the si 2400 is stored in si that will be displayed so whatever the value that is stored that is displayed here so these th these four statement is used inside the display function so this is about the output i hope you guys understood this program so i just wanted to give you a homework write the same program same simple interest program where you are going to declare all the member function inside the class which are the member function read data compute as well as display so these three functions you are going to declare inside the class you are going to write the definition whatever the c out statement whatever the calculation whatever the display part is there that should be written inside the class write a main function and run the program so this question why did i give you in the final exam for five mark question they'll ask you declare all all the member function inside the class or declare all the function outside the class so that it is very useful you can write this simple interest program very easily if you have any doubts if you want to ask about any topics you can mail me this is my mail id that's all for today's class if you like my video please like the video share with your friends and please subscribe my channel thank you